welcome back everyone as we continue our intermediate to advanced Civil 3D tutorials here. In this next couple of videos, we're going to be taking a look at transparent commands within Civil 3D. These commands can be very handy uh, for continuing your line work, finding points, tracking down information on your profiles, inserting northings and eastings, inserting information in your profiles, referencing off your alignments, and so forth and back and forth. Now there are a couple ways we can access these commands. When you a default install Civil 3D, I believe the transparent commands toolbar will be over on the right hand side here. So if we look at the right side of the screen, we have all the commands in a nice little list. Also within the ribbon, if we click on transparent, the commands are here as well. So we can access them both ways through the toolbar or through the ribbon itself. Now transparent commands, are useful for a large number of objects. We can do them on polylines, we can utilize them in our profiles, we can utilize them on alignments. I'm going to assume within feature lines as well, not just on simple old line work anymore. So if we look under the lines and curves, where these some of these uh, commands come from is under the lines and curves command that works off lines. So lines by angles, bearings, extensions, create curves, uh, a bunch of these have now been referenced to be, uh, have been changed to using additional commands, not just on line work anymore. Now the first four commands we're gonna look at in this video are the four on the top. So angle distance, bearing distance, azimuth distance, and deflection distance. We're going to utilize this on a simple polyline. I'm also going to start an alignment and show you that they also work on alignments as well, if that helps you with your designs. Now, before we begin, I'm going to go into the units command because these initial commands work off what you have set here for your direction. How do you want your Civil 3D to work? Do you want the angles to go clockwise? Or do you want them to go counterclockwise? And additionally, under direction as well, I've got my base angle set to north. So straight north is zero degrees for me. Any angle I type will be zero degrees from straight north here. I believe default Civil 3D install is set to east. I've simply came and changed it to north. Now these commands, if we hover over them again quickly, we need a piece of uh, a line, piece of line work already started. So we need to start our polyline in order to continue them on. If we just select this command, it tells us that AD must be called from within another command. And if we look at the command itself, we can we can access it by the apostrophe with AD behind it. So that's angle distance. We cannot start these commands from uh, with from without a command. If I start the polyline command and then try this, Civil 3D asks me to select the line or points. Uh, I have no lines in here, so we don't know. I'll start a polyline. I'm just going to draw it at uh, any any old angle. Now we, we, now we can take advantage of these commands. So if I type in the apostrophe AD, the angle distance, and if we hover over the command, we can find out what this does. Specifies a point location at an angle and distance from a known point and direction. So this is going to take my existing line, so the, the angle of my existing line, and read off of that. Now this one doesn't involve the north yet, but if we wanted to say be a 250 degree de deflection, and this is going clockwise as I've specified in my units tab. So I'm gonna type in 250 degrees, and then it asks you for a distance. So I'm going to type in 100. Now, when we're done that, it's a continuation of the command. So it asks you for the next angle from that previous deflection. So we could type in 125 with a distance of 200. 
and it continues on. So we can continue sketching our line a deflection from the previous one. If I hit escape once, it defaults me back to the regular old polyline command. So I can finish off, if I know the last point, I can click and hit enter. Starting with another polyline here, we'll just draw it at an arbitrary angle again. We're going to look at bearing distance. So when I click bearing distance, we see that we can now go off a north bearing or a south bearing, and the screen is broken into four quadrants. So we have the northeast, southeast, southwest, northwest. And the angle is based off of that. So northeast quadrant will be 90 degrees, southeast 90, southwest 90, northwest 90, etc. So if I click in the northeast quadrant, it then asks me the angle. It will not allow me to go out of that northeast quadrant. And we can type 45 degrees. Now this will be off my true north. And my distance will say 120. The command then starts again and say we want northwest quadrant now and we want it again the bearing is off of pure north so it goes all the way around and up to here so say we wanted 315 degrees 315 input dms oh even though it says bearing 316 degrees, we have to type anything between 45 or 0 and 90. So if I type 45, and if you look, we can stretch it southeast or northwest now, and I can go a 250. Hitting enter again or escape will get you out of the command and default you back into Civil 3D, uh, Civil 3D Polyline. We'll start a polyline again, and we'll look at the third azimuth distance. Now this will be directly from north, because I have it set for north, and a north azimuth, and whatever we type. So if we type 315 degrees now, it is from north. We'll just type a distance of 250 meters. 53, oh, 532. Watch what you're typing on and a distance of, we'll say 600. And we're going to find out where that's going. It's going south because it's going 360 degrees plus another 120 or so. So that will always work off your north azimuth and clockwise. And then finally, the last command, deflection distance. So I'll use deflection distance. And this is the deflection off your current angle, not the one previous. So if I wanted to deflect my line 45 degrees and then 50 meters, and then we'll go minus 45 degrees, 50 meters, it deflects it off the line you have previously drawn. So that was a quick uh, run through of the initial transparent commands off of a polyline. Let's create an alignment by layout. I'm just gonna call it transparent. And I'm going to start drawing just tangent to tangent. So the initial tangent will match say an existing road. We have an angle of an existing road here. Now we can call upon these transparent commands. So say I wanted to use the deflection distance and I want that road to deflect 45 degrees or let's try minus 45 degrees. And I want it to go another 600 meters. And then let's have it transition another 45 degrees this time to the right, 600 meters. We could type in really whatever angle we want. We don't have to type 45 degrees either. We could type 315. But uh, knowing your angles, if you want to turn 45 degrees to the left or 45 degrees to the right, we can use a negative number. So I can go through and I can sketch my entire alignment this way. If I hit escape, I can call up upon another command now. So say I wanted to do off the north azimuth. 
so say this last road had to be 317 degrees. I am going off of what was north. So we can cancel the command. We can go back to just the draw polyline command, draw an alignment command, draw a feature line. I'm going to assume a feature line works with this as well. In fact, we can give that a quick try. Draw a feature line. I'll just put it on site one. Specify the elevation. We'll just say a thousand. The next point we'll say here a thousand. And will it allow us to continue the command? So the transparent commands do work on feature lines as well. And it does the angle distance same as on polylines, same as on alignments. Albeit quite a few commands will be able to utilize these transparent commands. And again, like I said before, the reason that Autodesk put these in was because before they were constrained to just lines, just curves. You had to have a line to run some of these commands. It didn't want, they didn't work on polylines. They didn't work on any of the other tools that we have available. In the next videos, we're going to take a look at the remaining commands.